would be my parents. Um, no one specifically, but I would say like the pharmacy tech, um, J Tech group has helped me a lot. Miss Simpson. Probably my parents. They're always pushing me to do better. Probably my parents, because they were in high school once, and so they know, like, how to get through everything. I guess. Probably the VPs because they help me a lot whenever I need help. Probably my parents, they both work really hard and they set a good example for me. My mom. I'd have to say my mom, she's just kind of been there with everything and helped me through it all. Canyon Moser, man. He's the real MVP. <laughs> Probably Coach Fletcher, if I would have to say, because even though I was only able to have him as my coach for two years for track. He, he taught me how to be a leader and he also taught me how to push myself to the, like my very best. And um, without that, I probably wouldn't have made, like I probably wouldn't have pushed myself to the point where I am now and so I'm pretty glad for that. I love all my teachers and all my friends, especially um, Fletcher. Mr. Fletcher and Miss T, they have helped me a lot and also um, Maddie Walker, she is so far my best friend and I'm so thankful for that. Hi everyone. My parents. Mrs. Wing. Um, I would say Coach B because he recruited me to do track and field and so that just kind of helped build my confidence a lot with just practice and weightlifting and it gave me the best group of friends I could have ever asked for. Uh, Ms. Turner. Mr. Escocio. Probably my mom. My agriculture teacher, Ms. Neal. My friends. The performing arts department, actually. I'd probably say Coach D. Uh, probably my family. Uh, my parents. My parents. Probably my parents. Uh, they've been really awesome. Mm -hmm. I'll say my mom. She's helped me out a lot. Probably my parents. Probably my brother. He's just really determined in, about everything in his life and he just knows what he wants. Uh, my friends and my family. I'd say uh, Chief Adam Brown. Uh, just, he's just an inspiration if anyone knows his story. My parents and coaches. They motivated me and taught me the right things to do in every situation. Uh, I'd say my dad because he like pushed me to actually like finish high school and stuff. So uh, my parents, they've just I don't know, made me want to be better. Probably my dad. He's just like helped me out with a bunch of like stuff I need to get done. Helped me get going on the quarters and stuff like that. Uh, Miss Snow because she has always made everything an adventure for me. Uh. Probably my mom. She's really pushed me to get things done this year and it's, it's helped me. I'd probably say the business department as a collective because they really challenged me to get out of my comfort zone and with DECA it really pushed me to become more. Mr. Ryan White. Um, he's taught me things about myself and others and just life in general and it's going to help me throughout the years. My mom and dad. Um, they're always a big support for me, and are there when I need them. Probably my drill team and my coach, or my teachers. Well, drill because it consumes my life, and I've been doing it for three years. And then teachers just because the way that they guide you, and the way that they're offering their information and their knowledge, like, really affects how you are as a person. Um, probably just my best friends, like Oakley Doyle, and Bailey Robinson, and Callie Peterson, and tons of people, just everyone that I hang out with every day. Um, probably my group of friends, just because that's who you hang out with every day. It's what you do. Friends. Because you're with your friends all the time and they influence what you do, you have fun with them. Probably being on the ballroom team, all of our inside jokes and being friends and everything. <laughs> Miss Brewer. Probably my older sister, Krista, um, just because she always has been like helping me throughout it, and she's a great example for so. I'd have to say Branson. Every class, you know, just brings out my spirit, makes it fun, makes it exciting. Great time. Probably my mom, because um, she was always there 
when I needed her and she kept track of a lot of things that I forgot about. I think my mom has helped me a lot, obviously, but if I had to pick a teacher, I'd probably say Ms. Brugger has helped me a lot because I basically spent my entire senior year in the theater room and every time I was ever sad or disappointed, she bought me a cupcake and made me feel a lot better. So without Ms. Brugger, I don't know where I'd be. I feel like my team, my dance team, has helped me the most throughout high school. I've been a part of dance company and I'm really grateful for all the girls on that team that I've been able to dance with. Um, I'd have to say my friends just because otherwise I'd probably go crazy. So, yeah, my friends. I'd have to say my parents because they pushed me to do stuff I didn't want to do and helped me get better grades than I would have. You know, I'd have to own it up to God, honestly. My, just my faith. Um, I'd probably say my mom because she always pushed me to get the best grades I could, to get the best anything I could to be able to be successful later in life. Um, probably my friends because they've always been there with me in like some of my hard in like my hardest times whenever it was like super stressful like I had like all those projects and stuff that I had to do. Probably my mom. Um, high school hasn't always been great to me, but it has taken me. Let's just say it has taken me by the horns, and so it was rough for a little. Um, but I have gone through it with the help of my family, friends, and family. And my mom was a big influence for that. Mostly, probably my drill team and my coach or my teachers. Drill because it consumes my life and I've been doing it for three years. And then teachers just because the way that they guide you and the way that they're offering their information and their knowledge like really affects how you are as a person. My mom and dad. Um, they're always a big support for me and they're there when I need them. And who has impacted you the most in high school? Mr. Ryan White. He's taught me things about myself and others and just life in general and it's going to help me throughout the years. I'd probably say the business department as a collective because they really challenged me to get out of my comfort zone and with DECA they really pushed me to become more. Probably my mom. She's really pushed me to get things done this year and it's, it's helped me. I'm Mr. Romanello because he taught me a new area of science that I really love and want to use it and apply it in college. Uh, Andrus, just because he genuinely cares. You're like, that's kind of hard because, you know, there's a lot of people that helps, but I'm probably like, to be honest, probably my father, you know, hounded me on those missing assignments, being like, where is this, where is that, kind of helps me get it done faster, you know, or get it done at all, you know. I'm the hall monitor, Coach Hat. Um, probably my parents because, you know, they're always there to help me out when I'm stressed and, you know, it's nice to have a strong home to go to after a rough day and I really appreciate all they've done for me. Definitely my parents, like, all the advice they've given me, like, all the help over the years, not even just in high school, but just, like, all my life, it's definitely been what's helped me the most. Probably my parents just because when I'm not at high school and I come home from high school and talk to them about it, I think they're the ones that have been there and the ones that have pushed me to get through it in two months till graduation and they're the only ones that are going to be there after graduation. So, I would have to say Mr. Thorpe, the choir teacher, um, he has, he's just always there for you no matter what your problems are. And even though he's just a choir teacher, he takes his job really seriously and he believes it's important even though you might not use it like fundamentally like how you do math and English, but he just really makes you think about what you, re what you want to do and how you can work hard for that and how you can just make a difference even if it might not seem important to other people. Definitely my mother. Um, Alarm clock. I can't wake up. <laughs> um, probably Mr. Hershey, and that's mostly just because he lets me work a lot, just which is nice for me because I'm very self-driven and I like to teach myself things, and it's nice that he gave me a lot of time to do that. Jesus. Probably my mom. She excused all my absences and tardies when I was a slacker. So. I'd say Koji, because you know she helped me get like all not full of myself, confident, and be like. Yeah, this is me, and she helped me out with that. It was nice. 
Um, probably Miss Neal, because she's always pushed me to do the things that I know that I want to do, but was too lazy to do them. I think Mr. Merrill, um, mostly because he kind of got me excited for high school. I don't know. I wasn't super thrilled, but uh, kind of made the experience. Probably Mrs. King, just because she has helped me to grow and develop in skills. And then also Mrs. Fotu, who has helped me become more confident in um, my art and my creations. Um, my parents are actually uh, are the most supportive people in my life. They have helped me just really structure my life beyond high school. They've really given me a lot of insight into what world is, what the world is like after uh, high school and college. Um, just my parents just help me everything that I need help with. By myself, self reliant, independent. Uh, my friends, of course. In school, like directly in school, I would say my friends, uh, just because they help everything to be more exciting and help me be more pumped for everything and be more involved. So shout out to Pat Boys, you guys are the best. And just outside of school, my mom, just because she's always been there and pushed me to go forward and she also excuses my absences when I feel like I don't want to go to school. So yeah, she's the best. My mom. Just she's always there for me when I need her. A group in particular, because if I could say that, I'd say the band, like the marching band and the jazz band, all of those guys, because they're, they're a great group of people and really fun to hang around. And they really help keep your spirits up and keep you moving forward throughout the, the school year, helping you to, you know, have a good time. Plus, they're a bunch of really crazy, fun, weird people, which is why I like hanging out with them so much. I'd say uh, my theater teacher, uh, Casey Booker, she uh, was always there. I was stressed or just easygoing, just fun. Yeah. Coach Jolly, Coach Nicholson, my friends, <laughs> my mom. She kept me going. Uh, Mrs. Orton, and to explain why. Mr. White, Meredith McNutt, Mr. Romanello, Mark Dobson, Jenny Lynn DeHaan. Probably Mikey Dancy. <laughs> Julie Hoffman. Uh, the Guy Pals. Uh, Erica Plummer. Ames. My sisters. Um, I can see high school sports. My parents. Elza Morgan. Um, probably Koji. Myself. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> probably drama officers. Let's go, Sio. My father. Um, probably the cross country team. They, they changed my life a lot. Mr. White. Um, probably either my family, my parents, or my two best friends, Matt and Spencer. It's a toss up between Mr. Escocio and Mrs. LaFranca. Probably my chemistry teacher, Mrs. Morton. She's helped me to uh, see my love for chemistry and what I want to be able to do with the rest of my life. Uh, Miss Sweet, uh, just because she's been my math teacher for like two of the three years I've been in high school and she's just there kind of to relieve my stress and uh, you know just teach me and uh, how to be a better person. Um, I would say Miss Ames. She has always been, I think she's there for a lot of kids. Miss Ames is probably my favorite teacher. Uh, my counselors. Uh, because they helped me get through problems I had during high school and all that. Uh, my friends, because they've been there for me, they're, they're uh, best friends I've ever had, and I would wish I'd met them sooner than I did. Koji, I think, has helped me most. Um, she's the psych teacher, and she's also the CURE faculty advisor and she gives really good advice and always lets students vent to her without making us like feel less than a teacher which is good she treats us like people probably emily johnson because she's been a great friend and she's been supportive and she's made high school fun 
Uh, my mom, she's always been there, and like when I've had like my lowest point, she's been there, and then even at my like highest, she's been there supporting me the whole time. Most of the teachers, they've all been pretty dang supportive. Well, okay, there's three teachers that I recommend everybody has to take. Uh, Kojay, Mr. White, and Mr. Thorpe. Mr. Thorpe won't be returning next year, but uh, those are the classes that I show up to school for, so they've definitely helped my motivation, my grades, and uh, my graduation, so. Probably my mom, because she's pushed me really hard, but, like, she's created a lot of stress, but at the same time, she's done it to help me through, and I don't think I would have been able to make it through without her. Well, I would say my friends and family, because they are always there for me to support me, and no matter what, I do wrong, or no matter what I do right, they hold my back. Probably have to be Miss McNett. I mean, without Miss McNett, I don't think I'd be here. She always helped me out through tough times, you know, homework, relationships, just life goals and stuff. Probably my girlfriend. Uh, just because she's been there for me, like, every time it gets hard and just, like, helps me out. Shout out to Casey Pearson, the school psychologist. Woo! Uh, Mr. Escocio. Ellie Siemens, she's my best friend. Uh, probably my family. Mm, I'd probably say Coach D. The performing arts department, actually. Uh, I'd say my cousin David Bucky. Miss Anderson. Like Maddie Wolf and Megan McQueen. My beloved cousin, Brody Stevenette. Hayden Watts. Probably Coach Wilson. It's uh, actually one of the teachers here. His name is uh, Mr. White. Uh, Felicity Lambert. Uh, Mr. Merrill. Uh, Coach Barnes. Probably Miss Johnson because of the preschool. The preschool has been amazing this year. Pat. My best friend Lexi. My parents. Chandler Jacob Yen. Um, one of my music teachers, uh, Timothy Kidder. My friends. My sister Alyssa. My stalking my counselor. Um, one person that has impacted my high school and is Quay Green. Slay Mobley. Slay Mobley. Kaden Kirby. My family. Probably Abigail Chapman. My best friend, Amy Wright. Um, it would have to be, I think my mom. Just, I guess, pushing me to do everything that I could and taking as many opportunities as I could. It's hard to say because there have definitely been a lot of people, whether they're teachers, faculty, or students, who have impacted me. But if I had to choose one, it would have to be Lisa Jensen. Let's just say, any seminary teacher. My friends. I think the person that's helped me the most throughout my high school is that my mom. She's one great lady. I would say Mr. Thorpe, just because he's been such an inspiration to me and helped me be a better person, not just in choir, but he's just influenced me to be better in all aspects of my life. Probably Mr. Filippini. He's just, like his life advice, helped out quite a bit. Um, Miss Warner, probably, yeah. My counselor, Mrs. Watkins, she has always been the best counselor. She has put up with most of what I've had to ask her, and she did it, you know, because she cares. My mother, because she was always on me about getting my stuff turned in and getting good grades. For me, who's helped me the most is my best friend, Faye, because like she's really encouraged me to be like a better person and like help others. I think the people that have helped me out the most through high school are definitely just my close friends. They've just really always been there for me and helped me get through some tough times. Uh, Miss Lovato? Um, probably uh, Mr. Merrill, because he was my business teacher and that's the field of study I'm going into in college. And he actually left the school to go and own a Chick-fil-A. My cousin Brandon, because been with him since day one, um, all throughout high school. We've just always been together. Um, we're always there for each other. That's a hard question because all my teachers are super awesome. But I think who's helped me the most is probably all the business teachers because I have been in the business department like since sophomore year, and they've just helped me grow as an individual and as a leader. Probably my family. Uh, high school's fun, and sometimes it's stressful, but I'm glad that I've had my family to help me 
prioritize and keep my stress down? Um, I think my English teacher, Ms. McNett, she's been really awesome. She's been uh, helping me write essays and really prepare for college. Probably my guy friends to make my high school more enjoyable. Um, I would probably say my best friend Sophie because she's just kind of been there through everything. Uh, probably my mom because she's really supportive, I guess, and she's helped me a lot uh, to get past things, I guess. Um, my counselor Cindy Watkins because she like set me up with all my classes to graduate and stuff, so she's been really good help. So. I don't know my friends because they just help me when I'm down, they just make me happy. I don't know. <laughs> I'd say most especially coaches. Probably my mom because I just have to say thanks mom. Thanks for always waking me up and coming out of your warm bed down to the cold basement to wake me up every morning because I'm late. For texting my carpool when I was asleep saying that you were going to take me to school for paying my lunch money during work because I forgot to bring more, um, picking me up after school and just always being there for me. And uh, I want to say, hey mom, I'm on TV. <laughs> Thanks for everything. I love you. Uh, coach Fletcher, he's been my sprint coach for track and he's been really helpful to me throughout high school. Uh, I think my friends helped me most, uh, through high school at least, um, just uh, helping me with homework and inspiring me to not be a loser. Having a fast car makes you makes life a lot funner. Uh, just getting to see my friends every day and just having fun with them throughout all of high school. All right, so uh, my favorite memory uh, from high school is definitely band tour in New York, and the first place we went to was McDonald's, and uh, my friend got mugged, and uh, it. <laughs> It's been something we talk about uh, to this day. It's pretty good. The, the guy's name was Ron. That's, in, that's important. So I'd say all the small moments, but uh, thinking about that, you, uh, a certain subject comes to mind. When uh, uh, Mason Brown, he was sitting there under a table, and uh, Jack Rundle threw a water bottle at him, jokingly. Whole bottom spills all over him, and uh, for 10 minutes he's sitting there in his Navy shirt soaking. We're making fun of him for being in the Navy and being afraid of being wet. My favorite memory was probably going to state football and just cheering on the team. I don't know much about football, but it was really fun to watch and just that school pride at the end. It was like, wow, we won. Go Mustangs. So, yeah. My favorite memory was the first assembly my sophomore year because it was just really fun. So it made me excited for high school. Um, the football game. I went like my first football game last year and it was a lot of fun and it was really hype. So, yeah. Probably the homecoming game this year. That was super fun. And, like just hanging out there with my friends and stuff. So. Uh, um, probably skipping first period to go to breakfast with my friends. I like all going to all the sports, like the football games and all those. That's fun. Um, one of my favorite memories was last year we went when we went to New York with the music department. I made a lot of new friends, and I got to experience New York and that was a lot of fun. Um, just finding my place, like finding what clubs I'm in and finding my friends and having a place at Harriman. I think my favorite part was um, being able to compete with my DECA chapter at all the competitions in that state and nationals and it's really fun. Um, probably the Spirit Bowl, because everybody's just coming together, we're all getting crazy and loud, and it's just a really good time. Um, my favorite memory is probably in Cameraman's class, because like, he made a bet with us that if he made a putter shot, that we would have to do an extra test, but if he missed, we got Beto's burritos for the entire class period, and he missed, so we got Beto's burritos. My favorite memory, uh, just hanging out with my friends here at the school. My favorite memory about Harriman is just football games and being on dance company and getting to just show my school spirit and yeah. My favorite memory is being able to spend time with like my friends because like you finally get a license and you can like do a bunch of different things and you can actually go out and meet them. My junior year when we won state for football, I thought that was the best and most memorable moment of my whole entire life here. 
Um, either the state track meet um, or state football game. Um, I was both part of them. So. Probably seeing football win state was probably my favorite. I really liked uh, being a part of the student orientation for the sophomores. Um, just getting new high schoolers excited for all of the things that they can do in high school. Just all the friends I've made. I've enjoyed being a part of PLT and being able to serve those at Harriman and being able to outreach to those at Harriman. Um, probably just being in classes. Ah, favorite memory. Um, probably being on the wrestling team. The wrestling team was they're like a family, so that was pretty cool. Uh, probably my girlfriend. She's just helped me uh, do all my homework, get all my work done. So. I always just kind of think of like moving here. Everybody was so welcoming and friendly, nice. And I was just, I was the new girl, so I was scared. But when I met people, I wasn't as scared. Early morning ballroom team rehearsals when you get here at 6 a.m. And uh, you'd think it'd be really hard, and sometimes it is. Uh, as a chronically late human being, I am often not on time, obviously, but it's just kind of like, I don't know, there's just so many like friends and eventually they'll just become your family because you're always with them. And it's insane because you say, yeah, I'm at the six, at, or I'm at the school at 6 a.m. every day. And they say, that's ridiculous. And you say, no, I'm with their, I'm there with my favorite people. So I think really getting to know some genuine people. There's, there's a few people here that I want to stay friends with for the rest of my life. Um, probably just being able to play sports with my, uh, rugby with my team. Honestly, every, every spirit bowl we've went to, really good memory. Memory is when we went to the state championship. That was, that was amazing. Uh, probably Mrs. Lovato. She really went easy on me. <laughs> I think, uh, going outside with the astronomy class and looking at sunspots, that was pretty fun. Favorite memory? Just all the friends that I've made. The football games, uh, just anything that gets the student body together, hearts of gold. I really enjoyed when we won the state ch football championships. That was pretty cool. Probably being a part of ballroom team and just all of the fun times we've had with performances and practices and getting ready for that. Late night, 3 a.m. homework craziness. Probably one of the like things that you know has influ influenced my life so much is joining the preschool, which is really like giving me a clear path to what I'm going to do after high school because it's thanks to that that like I know where I'm supposed to be. I set up, I had to be at the school at like 6.45 a.m. on a Saturday and make sure everything was going right, I had to get the breakfast ready. It was quite an experience but you know helped with my responsibility and leadership skills so it was great and I had fun. Probably FBLA State. That was a blast, and it got pretty fun. After I graduate, I'm heading on a mission, um, to, but depending on when the call comes, I might uh, get a job or something in between. So. In between. I'm um, serving an LDS mission at uh, UDK, New York. Signed up for the military. Going to be a satellite phone specialist, so that'll be fun. Probably asking the girls to homecoming with me, Matt Spencer, the way we did it was freaking awesome. I think really getting to know some genuine people. Um, there's, there's a few people here that I want to stay friends with for the rest of my life. My favorite memory would be winning drill region my sophomore year. Uh, it was probably my junior year. We were playing Lone Peak for our 9-11 game. We were down 1-0 at halftime, and then I came back and scored three goals, and we won 3-2. It was pretty exciting. <laughs> Being a part of the state championship football team. Probably winning state championship for sevens, rugby. Um, doing this counseling office mural, that was super fun. Uh, winning the state championships last year for football. I don't know, just getting to be with friends and get to meet new people. This year, senior year, I was a basketball manager for the boys varsity team and we beat Riverton twice. And I don't know, it was just really exciting to see and um, it just really made it memorable. Track meets get crazy. It's every beautiful day on this wonderful campus. <laughs> just having all these opportunities through high school, it's 
help me to be a better, more well-rounded person? Yeah. Um, probably just staying up late, hanging out with friends on the weekends. Probably winning the football championship junior year. <laughs> My favorite memory is going to watch the football team at the state championships. Once upon a time in sophomore year, we went to a football game and we all happened to wear red lipstick at the same time. It wasn't planned. It was great. Um, probably when I ripped my pants at prom. Not going to forget that one. Make the most of it because you only got to go to high school once, so make it the best you can. Stay on top of things and take the time to really learn, not just to do assignments, but to make sure you're learning the things that the teachers want you to be successful for. Be involved and don't procrastinate. Like Those are the two really important things to enjoy your high school experience. Don't procrastinate because that's probably the worst thing you can do to yourself. Uh, just pick the right group of friends to support you through high school. Um, I think I would say just know who you are and what you stand for and um, just have fun and uh, remember your goals. And uh, do your homework on time and don't procrastinate. Um, senioritis is real. <laughs> don't believe people who say it's not. Don't, don't procrastinate. Get your packets done if you have any packets. Don't be that guy. Um, advice for future students. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Because I know for the first part of high school I was afraid to ask for help. And it's so much easier when you have other people supporting you. Enjoy it because it goes by super fast and all of a sudden you blink and it, you're almost done. And you realize, oh, um, yeah, this is almost over and I'm going to have to actually do life now. <laughs> Don't come in thinking you know everything. Because when I came into high school thinking I knew everything from middle school, pretty much everything I thought I knew was wrong. I would say find a friend group. I would do academics, but you have to have friends to make it through high school. Don't let fear stop you from trying new things. Really enjoy high school because it's over a lot faster than you think it'll be. And I know you want it to be over fast, but you really don't. <laughs> don't procrastinate at all. <laughs> Just do your homework. Have fun and enjoy it. Don't skip school too often. To be involved. you got to be involved in your high school years. Go to all the football games. Just be involved. Don't skip class. It's not worth it. <laughs> Take the college classes that the school offers. For sure. I just laugh and smile. <sighs> just kidding. Don't, Don't take up a full schedule your senior year. Just relax. Everyone goes through it. Just have fun. Don't try too hard. There's life after high school. So if you're not like the best at everything and not everybody loves you, it's not a big deal. Don't do dumb. Uh, just get all your classes over with before senior year so you can just party. Don't care what others think of you. To get involved and do all that you can to get to know more people. Don't base your schedule on your friends because you won't get the credits you need. Start working on your enhanced diploma stuff now. Uh, smile. Look good. Um, be nice to people because high school's short and, and it's a lot shorter than you think. Also, gosh, is a lot scarier than you think too. Like, it's way scary, but um, yeah, just, it flies by, so don't waste time being mean to people. To be kind to everyone, and to never be afraid to just make the right choices. To just don't stress about school, to be happy, but also work hard. It was... All right. Awkward. Over dramatic. Roller coaster, like ups and downs. <laughs> um, helpful. I have to say, inspirational. Uh, influential. Uh, yikes. Growth. Senioritis. Kind of long. Fun. Probably like service. Hectic. Like definitely hectic. Hard, for sure, it's been hard. Challenging, but it was fun. <laughs> awesome. <laughs>
unavailing. Unpredictable. A rolling costume. Um, I'd probably say a bahif. Yeah. Uh, time consuming. Tubular. An adventure. Versimilitude. Gnarly. Super gnarly. Uh, experience. Stellar. Nocturnal. Just because you don't really sleep at night and you fall asleep in classes. It's been an experience, I guess. Interesting. Yeah, I, I don't really know what to, else to say because it's got the good and the bad, which... But they kind of balance each other out a bit more on the good side, so there's a lot more good here than there is bad. But it's overall it was fun. I think it was an entertaining uh, and good learning experience for me to be here in high school, especially Harriman. Harriman was a great place to be. Stressful a little bit, but fun. Stressful. Crazy. Fantastic. <laughs> it was all right. Radical. Amazing. Worthwhile. Serendipity. Moist. Odd. Unsatisfactory. Entertaining. Um, long. Tubular. Unforgettable. Amazing. Challenging. Fantastic. Memorable. Difficult. Eventful. Worth it. Adventurous. I'd probably say life-changing. Interesting. Um, fun. Groovy. Interesting. <laughs> um, I'd have to say... interesting. Uh, blurry, kind of. Yeah. High school, I would have to say... stressful. Uh, amazing. It was very... it's interesting. Enlightening. Sarcastic. <laughs> Courage building. A roller coaster. Unexpected. Lovely. I love it. <laughs> Probably memorable. Um, it's because they haven't all been good memories um, or bad ones, but I don't know. Like everything that I've gone through is probably the stuff I'm gonna keep with me forever. Groovy. Eventful. It's been really interesting. <laughs> Long. Unforgettable. It's been fun. It's been wonderful. Friendship. I'd say fun. Um, I'd say fun. Uh, interesting. Extravagant. Eventful. <laughs> fun. Fun. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> Wet. Um, I would say eventful. Um, an experience. A party. High school is a really different experience, but it's really where life starts and where you get a head start. Crazy. Unique. High school in one word would have to be insane. Um, if I could define high school in one word, I think it would be experience. Exciting. Crazy. Um, hell. Memorable. Um, new beginnings. Lit. Uh, exciting. Um, if I could describe high school in one word, I would say it is beautiful. High school in one word, probably crazy. Busy. Stupid. Extravagant. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. It's fan radical. Zootopia. Oh, I love Zootopia. Um, what's your favorite color? Yellow. Oh, you're wearing yellow. Yeah, that's so nice. Um, who's your best friend? Fraction. And do you love Harriman High School? Yes. Perfect. Okay, Madison, what's your favorite movie? Um, uh, 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 I chose a new Arowana. Ooh, I like it. What's your favorite color? Um, uh, color is pink. Who's your favorite Disney princess? Um, uh, I chose a princess Jasmine. 
I love Princess Jasmine. Okay, you're done, Madison. You did great. So, Makaya, what's your favorite movie? Can't prepare that. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, when is your birthday? November 11th. What's your favorite color? Gray. Do you love Harriman High? Yeah. <laughs> and you're ready to go. Perfect. Thanks, Makaya.